Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for a few mindful moments today. I'm going to read you a book and when the book is over we'll then talk about how it connects to mindfulness. So the book is called Stuck and the author is Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one, and unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink, the family car to knock down their front door, the milkman to knock down the family car, an orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be, a small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat, a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck, a lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street, a curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And the whale is saying, hi, what are you doing? And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went, first the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and he went to find a saw. He lined it up as best he could, and he hurled it up to the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree, and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted, though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea, the fireman is saying. The end. So this book is a fun book to enjoy, but the reason I felt like it connected to mindfulness is when Floyd first got his st kite stuck in a tree, instead of trying to deal with that problem, he created more and more and more problems. So I was thinking that the tree is kind of like Floyd's 
mind and like his heart. And if we think about the kite, kind of like a feeling, we can think about mindfulness. So let's say that you were feeling really angry right now at somebody and you get that anger stuck in your heart or in your mind. And then instead of dealing with that anger, you let other things get stuck. So maybe later on you're getting worried about something. So then you have anger stuck in your heart and your mind and you have worry stuck in your heart and your mind. And instead of getting more and more things stuck in your heart and your mind, like Floyd got things stuck in the tree, you could stop, take some mindful breaths, do some mindful exercises, or ask for help. If Floyd would have asked for help when he very first had the first problem and got his kite stuck, maybe someone could have helped him. So if you're feeling feelings getting stuck in your heart or in your mind, two big tips. Ask for help, tell someone how you're feeling, and then use some mindfulness to help you to feel better and get unstuck. I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.